Hey guys, what's up? It's Jax, the legend here. Today I'm here with another Minecraft tutorial, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to migrate your Mojang account to Microsoft. As well as that, get a free awesome cape that looks just like this for your Minecraft Java account. Now, this cape is only available to people who can migrate their Mojang account to their Microsoft account. If you bought Minecraft through a Microsoft account, you won't actually have an option to migrate it. So this is mainly for people who haven't bought Minecraft super recently. But for all of you Mojang account users, this cape is completely free. So let's get on to the tutorial. Now the first step you need to do is go to Minecraft.net and log into your account. Once you've done this, you want to make sure you're on the profile tab here. And you can see we've got a it's time to move here. Now, the first step we want to do is actually click this move my account button. Once you've pressed this button, it'll upload load you to a new page where you can click get code so you can verify this they ver can verify that this is your account now this code will be sent to your mojang account email now this is the email that is linked currently to your mojang account not your microsoft account once you've got this code you can click submit and start migration if you didn't get this code, you can either resend the email or contact Mojang for further instructions on either how to migrate your um, Mojang account to a different email that you have access to or another workaround. But I've got the code here, so let's submit and start migration. Once you've got this, it'll load you to a new page like this. This is where you're going to sign into your previously exi existing Microsoft account or a new one. Now I've got my Jax the Legend Microsoft account here, but that's for my main account. So I'm going to create a new one. Once you've done that, once you've clicked on that, you're going to be taken to another new page where you can create a password and it's going to automatically use the email you've already used for your Mojang account. Then you'll be taken to a area like this where it will show you your information. You can change it here, but it will actually take it from your Mojang account. So it should all be correct. But if you do need to change it, now is the time to do it. Once you've done that, the next button. Now we just got to do this capture to confirm we are not a robot. Just got to flip this around so it's facing the right way. And there we go. It'll take you to a page like this once it has loaded where you can choose your Microsoft Gamer Tag. Now this is completely different to your Mojang Gamer Tag. Your Mojang username or Gamer Tag is actually your Minecraft username. So if I can name this whatever I want and it won't change my Minecraft username. So if I name this Jax2, It'll leave my Minecraft username what it is at the moment, which is Buff Beef on my second account. Now, this will also be the public name on the Xbox Online community. So, if you want to log into this Microsoft account on your Xbox, it'll be what you are seen as on there. But I'm going to leave it as Buff Beef. Of course, you can choose any sort of icon you like. Once you've done that, you can just click Let's Go. Now we get to here where it will show, it says time to move skins, creations and everything else to your Microsoft account. And then once we've done this, we can click complete move. There's just a reminder here that after this, you'll access your data and play Minecraft Java edition with your Microsoft account. But um, that's just logging in, which I'll show you later how to do that. Once you're ready, click complete move. So now the move is complete. Now something you might want to do before you actually log into your Minecraft account is activate your special migrators cape. To do this, come over to skin, scroll all the way down to the very bottom, and then click on the migrator cape. If you have other Minecon capes, they will be loaded up here as well. You just want to select the migrator one if you want that cape there. Now, if you do want to disable this cape in the future, all you have to do is come back to minecraft.net, log in using your Microsoft details, Go to the skin section up here and scroll back down to the bottom here and click no cape. Then you can go back and you'll have no cape. But I'm going to leave this on because I love this cape. It looks so cool and royal. Now, before we log in, I'd just like to mention that these capes do somewhat clash with Optifine capes. Um, if you don't have one, you don't need to stress about it at all. But the Optifine cape, if you have Optifine loaded, will show over this migrator cape. So you'll have to disable your Optifine to be able to see this cape or disable your Optifine cape. Now let's go back and open up our Minecraft. When you open up your Minecraft, you should be presented with a screen that looks like this. Now, if you type in your details here, you won't actually be able to log in because this is logging into our Mojang account. So what we have to do is click this go back button and add a new account. We want to click Microsoft login. Once we've done that, it'll open up a new window where we can log in with our 
other Microsoft account, like this, enter in your details. Once you've logged in, it'll just take you back to the normal Minecraft launcher. Click this, let's go. Then of course, once you've done that, you can select the version that you want to load. I'm just going to do the latest release and click play. And now I'm on a Minecraft single player world with my awesome cape. This cape also works for multiplayer, but I'm just on a single player world right now and creative flying around, but look how awesome it looks. So now you guys have this awesome cape. So on that note, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Remember, if you have any troubles, make sure to leave a comment down below, um, making sure there's loads of details in there so I can give you a hand to the best of my abilities. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated.